Hey, are you looking for a minigun in Starfield? Here's how to get one. You can just buy one at a store. Let me show you exactly how to get there. So the store is located in New Atlantis, in the commercial district. And you probably know where New Atlantis is, but just showing it on the larger star map here. So it's on the planet Jamison in the Alpha Centauri system. You can fast travel directly to the commercial district, but if you're already at, uh, at New Atlantis, you can take the NAT, which is the train, to get to the commercial district. To find the minigun, we need to go to the UC distribution store. So let's walk from the NAT to the uh, UC distribution center now. Okay, so it's the building on the right, right here. So let's go inside. I think I got them. What do you call so once inside, just talk to the shopkeeper and uh, trade with her to uh, afraid, find the gun. I'm due to recent legislative act. Welcome to UC District. I have been told. Also, if you're... I hope we have what you need. Okay, so this is the gun we're looking for. It's the N67 smart gun. And you can see the stats on the right. As you would expect, it's got a really high fire rate, but the damage for every bullet is quite low. That means it still does a lot of damage per second, but the downside is that it also uses up a lot of ammo. So I just bought it. It's uh, quite expensive. It was over 36,000 credits to me. At the end of the video, I'll test it out so you can see if that's worth it to you. But first, here's another look at the gun. So you can see what it looks like when you've got it equipped. And here are the stats once again. So something to note is that it's got the uh, shattering trait, which means it does more damage to armored opponents. As well as the armor piercing rounds mod, which means it's really effective against armored opponents. Okay, so let's try it out. It takes a while to spin up, but after that it's really fast. So at long distances it doesn't seem that accurate. And the damage also seems to drop off quite a lot. I think it's still an interesting gun to have in your arsenal, and it might come in handy in some occasions. Okay, so lastly, let's have a look at the available mods for this minigun. So for barrel mods, you can choose this long barrel, which increases the accuracy and range for the minigun. For laser mods, you can either choose for the normal laser sight, or for the recon laser sight. Both increase the accuracy of the gun, but the recon laser sight increases it more, so I'm installing that one. For muzzles, it's either the compensator, which is already installed, or the suppressor, which uh, increases accuracy, but it decreases the range, so I'm not taking that one. For grips, you can install the tactical grip, which uh, slightly decreases the mass of the gun. For a magazine and battery components, it's already got the uh, armor piercing rounds, which is the best possible mod, so I'm not installing another mod here. And for internal mods, there are a couple of interesting options. So first up, the bullet hose, which increases the fire rate, accuracy and range. Then there's the high-powered mod, which increases the damage of the gun. 
So sadly I couldn't get this because I ran out of titanium. And then there's the high velocity mod which both increases accuracy and range by a lot. So those are all the mods you can install in the uh, N67 smart gun minigun or micro gun. So that's all for this video. So let me know, do you think this gun is worth it? And don't forget to hit like if you like this video and subscribe if you want to see more Starfield videos like this.